What a night here at Zaid Cricket Stadium in Abu Dhabi. The golf giants had a good crack at it, thanks to Chris Lynn, but not to be. The Knight Riders had other ideas, an easy run chase in the end for them. We're going to catch up with Shaheen Afridi, find out what he said to Spurs team on yesterday. Will it be the same for tomorrow? And if we have a look at tonight's game, like I said, the Knight Riders made pretty light work of the Golf Giants total in the first innings there, winning in the end by six wickets to take the two points which they needed as we have reached the middle point, obviously, of this tournament. Now, we have a look at the leaderboard here. My Emirates still sitting on top. The Knight Riders sitting in third spot. Golf Giants in fourth, the defending champs in desperate need of a win. A big win uh, for the Knight Riders. I have got Natalie Germanos, Waka Yunus, and the man of the moment, Michael Pepper, joining us. Michael, congratulations. A great victory for you and a great personal performance. How are you feeling? You look very comfortable out there with the bat tonight. Yeah, obviously, the whole result today was very important for us, being two from five and getting into the crunch games now into the tournament. So, yeah, it's just good to, get in, good to get a win and spend some time in the middle. Yeah, and it was a, it was a really interesting surface in the end, actually, Nat. But uh, where do you think, do you think the golf giants lost it or the Knight Riders won it? Well, I think the toss was really important because we've seen that it is a chasing ground. But at the same time, I think when we look at the way the golf giants started, they battled in terms of the movement. I think that the Knight Riders bowled really nicely, um, but they obviously got quite a bit of movement. And I don't think that the golf giants quite recovered in the way that they would have. And they probably found themselves maybe... 20 runs short of the target they possibly needed. So talk us through your chase, the run chase, when you got out there, the mindset um, after the total that was set by the Golf Giants when you came out to bat. Uh, we were fairly happy with it. We thought maybe in 170s around par. Um, but yeah, we thought going out in the power play was going to be uh, really important, really crucial. We'll try get the run rate as low as we can. Um, and then being no, not losing a wicket in the power play was obviously very important too. Very important. The way the golf giants use their bowlers, uh, to particularly uh, Michael Waka, what did you make of it? I don't think they were up to the mark. Uh, you know, the, the bowling was all over the place, especially the extras. You know, especially, you know, when you're defending this sort of total, you need to uh, really start well. And and I don't I don't think they were uh, uh, on mark in the in the first four overs. The game was actually lost in the first four overs when they were they were bowling. Uh, I'm not taking anything away from this youngster here. He played really, really well. But, uh, you know, it, it wasn't really, uh, you know, the golf giant. We know in, in the past we have seen, the, the, you know, the, the champions from last year. And uh, today they look totally off colour. I don't think Andy Flower is going to be that happy with this performance. No, he certainly didn't look too, uh, <clears throat> too happy walking into the sheds tonight. That is for sure. Uh, Natalie, if we talk about uh, Andre Russell, uh, the way he finished it off, something we know he can do so well. But good to see him do it, even against a, a golf giant's bowling performance that they won't be too pleased with. Yeah, he just done it so many times already this season, hasn't he? He's really enjoying season two. He's striking it over 200 in this tournament this year. Strike rate, a career strike rate of 170, which just tells you enough already what he brings to it. But now at the same time, here tonight, he had the opportunity to just, again, play his natural game because of the innings that Michael played, obviously. He was able to come out there and just enjoy himself, play his normal game, and he enjoyed conditions at the time when it just looked easy off the batting. Michael, what's he like as a teammate? You could be as honest as you like. This is a very <laughs> safe space. Um, any sort of secrets you'd like to tell us, you go for it. <laughs> no, he's unbelievable and just an absolute specimen too. The way he hits a cricket ball is unbelievable. Even his miss hits go for six. He's, but as a bloke too, he's unbelievable. Like really helpful with everyone else. So, so helpful that you get up and train with him at 3 a.m. in the gym. I've heard that's how he rolls. <laughs> Gets up to gym at 3 a.m., which is disgusting. But do you join in? Uh, I don't, which you can probably tell. <laughs> but no, I also don't think he does 3 a.m. in the gym. Um, <laughs> oh, we got a video of that. We, just, <laughs> we got a proof. Don't worry about then that. I'm, yeah, then I'm we're going to need some more videos from you actually as well. <laughs> in the gym. Um, so talk us through the rest of your teammates. In terms of a bowling performance, David Willey, although only getting the one wicket, uh, he bowled superbly up front for you. A an Englishman. What is it with the English enjoying conditions mm. over here? Talk us through that. Well, stages here almost feels like we're bowling with the Dukes in the Red Bull cricket, the way it's swinging and seeming. Um, you know, yeah, he started us off unbelievably. He's obviously so skilled, he doesn't really miss. And when there's anything in the wicket, he will find it. Um, and then, yeah, just everyone, even in the field, we back everyone backed each other up. And, yeah, it was just all-around good performance. Waka, what did you make of Willie up front? I thought he did a, a, an incredible job. I mean, he's, he's got so much experience. And, and the left armers, this is tournament belongs to the left armers. And if they get it right, they're sort of match winners. And, uh, you know, he bowled beautifully. Uh, he's, he's done it in the past. And uh, good to see him back in his form. I just wanted to ask Michael a question, you know. Was it swinging second time around also? Or was it just first inning he just swung? 
Um, no, it kept on swinging, especially mm. when Majib was bowling. He was still mm. swinging quite a lot. Um, Majib was I guess, a spinner. So yeah, but he was support. bowling. Yeah, supposed to be, but <laughs> a lot of big in swingers. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, I think it was more, we got more C, uh, mm. C movement when we were bowling. There was definitely swing there, but we also got quite a bit but of... Uh, s- but second time seeing. around, it was a little bit more... Yeah, more pace, it? kissed, kissed yeah, the yeah. wicket a little bit, came on nice, especially mm. with the extra pace, say like Gleeson and Natas, so mm. it almost felt a little bit easier when... Say someone like uh, Willie is a little bit slower. It's almost his C movement makes it a little yeah. bit harder. Yeah. yeah. Michael, an observation from my point of view: you got the keeping gloves, and all of a sudden you've got some runs as well with the bat. Has that <laughs> got anything to do with each other? I don't think so. I guess when you're keeping first, you're in the game the whole time, so maybe that helps. But no, I don't know. It's spent half the time keeping, half the time down. So who knows? Uh, we're halfway through the tournament now. Uh, only won one game last season, the Knight Riders. To win this game, particularly now, and how you're going, how big is are these two points in the tournament for the Knight Riders, do you think? Oh, crucial, yeah. We were, especially being, if we were to lose, say, two from six, it's almost have to win every game from then on in. So now, being three from six, not in a bad position, a few more home games coming up, um, and hopefully we can carry the momentum with us and take it through to the finals. Well, look, well done tonight. Congratulations, a great two points. Um, Really interesting footwear you've run with tonight. I appreciate it. I appreciate how you've come to the party. Congratulations. Go enjoy the celebrations and thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. All right, it is time now to catch up with another one of our superstars and find out a couple of his secrets. It's Ali Khan. Dubai. Biryani. मैं घर पे चल करता हूँ, FIFA खेलता हूँ, PlayStation पे movies देखता हूँ, Netflix पे और now I'm married so I just hang out with my wife. Hmm, tough question. Let me think. I want to say Shah Rukh Khan but I don't know if I should say that. Um, yeah, why not? Shah Rukh Khan? I don't feel scared from any thing. I feel scared from love. My first T20 game, Pally Ball, Pally Wicket, uh, Great Legend of Kumar Singh. Lagara. Scared of falling in love? Well, blow me down. Um, Waka, what are you scared of? Not falling in love. <laughs> I have been in love, so you know, <laughs> I, I don't mind. This is, but yeah, he's a he's a he's a, he's a good boy, isn't he? He's, uh, I have worked with him also, and 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 very soft spoken, and and really does his job, work really hard on his on his on his bowling, and and he's getting better and better with the time. He certainly is, and he's mm. been uh, interesting to watch in this tournament so mm. far. Speaking of interesting to watch, the golf giants we saw tonight, not the golf giants we saw last season, who mm. pretty much dominated the entire uh, tournament. One to watch from the golf giants is Chris Lynn. He seems to have continued on his form from last year, despite coming in with a bit of a niggle. How good was he tonight to sort of rebuild for the golf giants after early wickets fell? Oh, he's been crucial to them, because if you look at the other batters, they just haven't found the consistent form that they need. And without him, they would really be struggling. But I, I really enjoyed how he used the crease. He stood really deep in his crease. He made sure that he upset the line and length of the bowlers as well. I, I don't know if they bowled particularly well to him necessarily, but at the same time, take no credit away from him because he has been absolutely sensational with the bat. Walker, if you look at the way he's he's batting, is it a simplicity? Is, is it the simplicity in which he goes about it that adds to the consistency or that creates that level of consistency? Because he looked very determined tonight, as he did in his last innings as well. It's the belief he carries. He, he trusts himself really, really well. And, and because he's so powerful, he knows that he can recover at any stage. You know, even if he plays a couple of... Uh, cheap overs, uh, uh, he knows that you know he's, he's a big hitter. It's a bit like Chris, Chris Gale, don't worry about how, you, how many balls he eat up, but uh, how many sixes he hit, and he's a six hitting batsman. He's a, he's a very dangerous batsman to any bowlers around the world, so uh, you know, it's good that he's in form, but yeah, team form is a little missing at the moment. Alan Wilkins was very interested in the size of his biceps tonight because uh, <laughs> he is a six hitting machine, but the golf giants, if you look at the way that they lost their wickets, was it poor decision making? 
Oh, it possibly can be, but uh, again, I don't want to take any credit away from the Abu Dhabi Knight Riders and how they bowled. And also, obviously, David Willey set the tone, and maybe he wasn't quite getting the support from the other end initially. But I thought how Son the Rhine retakes these bowlers was really clever as well, and I think that made quite a big difference too. They were, they've obviously set on this plan with Ali Khan, making sure that he's in the end bowling at the end. And it's worked really well right through the season for them. So I think from their point of view, I, I, I do think that the, the golf judges could have made a little bit more of it. They needed to recover a little bit. But at the same time, they are not finding the individual form that they need for it to actually come together. And they never really recovered. I think this man, Hatmaya, he's got to come up, up, the, up the ladder because, uh, you know, it, it only gets what... 20 deliveries, 15 deliveries. He's, he's a far better batsman than, uh, you know, to have only that slot. Uh, I think he can bat at four maybe because left-hander also because you've got too many right-handers in there. You chuck him in there and I think he can really take the game away from the opposition if he's his day. And he hasn't had his day so far. No, not yet, I think no. his results have been four duck, uh, 11 and four. Yeah. So we're waiting for that. Let's talk about um, some bizarre dismissals. And we've seen a couple in this tournament, but I'm not sure. I think this might be the Usman Khan. Uh, Nat, talk us through this and what you had to... Uh... I'm not too sure he even knows actually what happened. We talk about players standing really deep in the crease, but that was just a little too much in the end. As a bowler, you look at that and you say, OK, well, I've... I've done something right, I've pushed him back, but yeah, you think he, He's not watching that a lot, is he, Wakari? No, not he shouldn't be. him and asked to see a replay of that, is he? He shouldn't be. <laughs> no, he should definitely not. I think he wanted to be a little too cute. Just wanted to hit maybe behind the, behind square. That's why his bat went in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, you you see a lot of... Uh, bizarre kind of a dismissal, but this is the one of one of its own kind. Well, look, we're, we all are guilty of trying to be cute from time to time. It's OK. <laughs> what we're going to do right now, though, on Cricket Safari is we're going to take a short break. When we come back, was this the speech that spurred on the Desert Vipers to a big victory yesterday, and could it be the thing for them tomorrow? When we come back, we'll discuss more. Welcome back to Cricket Safari. A great victory for the Knight Riders. Two points for them. The golf giants have got to ask themselves a couple of questions after a performance like that here in Abu Dhabi. It rained tonight, would you believe? It was quite a shock to us all. I'm joined by Rohan Gavaskar, Simon Dool alongside me. They are wearing far more comfortable shoes than I, <laughs> and I'm very grateful for their company. Uh, Rohan, what do you think went wrong, and then what do you think went right for the Knight Riders tonight? Uh, what do you think went wrong for the Knight Riders or yeah. went for... Yeah, things that they need to work on going into the next game because this is a clutch time in the competition for them and to get the two points is big for them. Yeah, this was this was a big win. I, I just think they could have been a little smarter when uh, they were chasing because net run rate, I think, is going to be a factor. So I think Andre Russell could have come a little higher up the order. We saw what he was capable of when he came out to bat. So I was a little disappointed and, to be to be honest, a little surprised that he didn't come up the order because you've got to you've got to look at the big picture in mind. If you want to qualify, you've got to look at that net run rate. And he, the position that they were in uh, after that opening stand when they lost the second wicket, they were in a really good position. The chance of them losing the match from there was was slim. So you could have taken that risk of finishing the game off in the 16th over. And I think that's something, just game awareness is something that they might need to work on uh, going forward. Yeah, the golf giants certainly didn't do much to help themselves. I can think of 19 extras after three or four overs that certainly didn't help their cause in that second <clears> innings there. But this is not the championship team we saw last season. What worked for them tonight, what didn't, and what are they going to do going forward? Yeah, they've, they've just got to be better, I think, with the bat. The, their start with the bat hasn't been great in the last couple. I think they're a little bit overly aggressive up front. I think Jamie Smith's a very good player, but uh, just being overly aggressive up front, I think he needs to just temper himself at touch. The sort of surfaces we're seeing, particularly Dubai and here, if you get through that first six overs, you can score heavily at the back end. Having said that, Ali Khan bowled really nicely at the, at the back end of the innings, and I think that's one thing the Abu Dhabi uh, Knight Riders did really, really well. Thank you very much for that, Alan Wilkins. Uh, I think that's one thing they did very, very well at the back end. They, they tied them down. They got the Yorkers right. And, uh, and Andre Russell, with bat and with ball, he's bowled some crucial overs uh, as well. I, I think we, we look at his batting often. Uh, but he's bowled some crucial overs. So for the Giants, they need to get back to those winning ways. They need better performances. James Vince hasn't had the year he's, uh, he's expected, and he was far better last year. And I just think they can tidy up their bowling. Those extras were awful up front. You know, the ball might be swinging, but it's not the first time these guys have had a swinging ball in their hands. So they've just got to be better well, at a lot of departments. They're getting, yeah, exactly. I mean, they're getting paid for it. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. getting paid a lot of money mm. to know how to bowl. And that's the one thing I, I think, as a, as, a, as a player, is in your control. Mm. Extras. 
Leg buys, okay. One leg buys go, you can't do anything. But wides and no balls, I think yep. that's criminal. It does feel very unacceptable at this level, that's for sure. Now, I don't know if you can see that there's a few spits of rain around right now, which, like me, you might be shocked that we're in the UAE and there's some rain around. And there was tonight. Ground staff did a great job getting us on and off as quick as possible. Um, there's something shocking about a bit of rain in the UAE, isn't there, Dooley? <laughs> we had a couple of games rained off last year, and I think one called off after only five overs. So uh, it can happen at this time of year. They do the cloud seeding as well, so they, they actually make it rain at different times uh, of the year rather than um, just waiting for the natural uh, causes to take effect. So it, it does happen. Um, it, it won't have too much of an effect on the tournament. Yeah, just my hair. That's the only thing it really has an effect on. Uh, Ryan, if you look at the scorecard, what does it say to you in terms of strengths for the Knight Riders going forward? Well, well clearly, uh, <clears throat> and they're batting. You know, Russell, Pepper, I thought were excellent. You know, we know Haynes got the ability as well to, you know, play a big... Uh, beginnings where, where, where his strike rate's really up. In terms of bowling, again, I thought uh, Imad was really good. Sunil Narayan, even though he's not there, we keep talking about the fact that he's an X-Factor bowler. When he gets going, it's really tough for the opposition. So they've got they've got some excellent players in their side. It's it just then they need to get a, a, a few wins on the trot, a few wins on the bounce, just to get that confidence going. Bit of momentum, bit of momentum. Now, if we have a look at momentum in terms of the commentator's prediction, because there's a bit on the line here in terms of street cred and our in our commentary box. I mean, look, how did you go today, Dooley? How uh, do you not, feel not, about not, that? No, not so good today. Yeah. Rohan was a little bit like the uh, Abu Dhabi Knight Riders, actually. He needed a win today. He, he needed I, I, I tell he, you, he needed a win. I mean, you've been performing poorly. <laughs> I, I've no, expected I, more I, from you. It was My performance has been so poor that this was a Hail Mary. Yeah, yeah, it was just a this throw, was, wasn't this it? Was not, I was like, this is, I'm bottom of the barrel right now. Yeah. You know, it can't get any worse. Sort yeah. this tournament. Yeah. I'm going to go with my heart. If I'd gone with yeah. my head, I'd have probably gone with the Giants, but because yeah. I've played for the Knight Riders, I went with the Knight Riders. Yeah. Only reason. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you couldn't be as bad Ooh, as yeah. Niall O'Brien, who sits right on the bottom there. Uh, Darren Darren is looking good. Dula, you're at 75%. There. Yeah. Things are looking okay Just, for you. I, I think I've got the last two wrong, the last two in a row. So I started very, very well. Um, I thought the Irish were lucky. Yeah, not that one, obviously. Clearly not. What's Darren know that we don't, that he's sitting at 100%? He just, he's a cricket nuffy. He just yeah. sits and watches. I've he seen studies his diary. His, his diary. He leaves it behind. That's the last thing you want to be mm. doing around us us lot as well, is leaving yeah. your diary I behind. I know how to but, draw um, certain things. Yeah, yeah. Darren <laughs> Ganga, don't do that again, Do mate. not do that. Let's have a look at what is happening tomorrow in the DP World ILT20, because it's a big old matchup in the grand scheme of this tournament. Absolutely. It is the Capitals taking on the Vipers. And it is a must win. I feel like for both teams, the Vipers will be feeling good after a victory last night. But, I mean, the Capitals really need to do something, don't they? Don't yeah, they? both sides played 5-1-2. So uh, they get an opportunity to jump into the top four uh, if they win t uh, tomorrow night. So if you go six and only two wins, I think you're staring down the barrel. It yeah. becomes very, very tough. And net run rate is going to come into play. I totally agree with what Rowan was, Rowan was saying earlier. We, we talked about it on commentary. Don't leave it till the last game or the last two games to up your net run rate. It was a great opportunity for the Knight Riders tonight. They didn't take it. They still got the W and the two points, but it will come down to net run rate. Maybe for third, but probably definitely for fourth. Yeah, Shaheen Shahafridi last night was simply superb. Uh, Rohan, what, what do you like about this guy? I mean, it takes a lot of character to come out. when you, you We need you to win most of the time with the ball, yeah. but you're having to do it with the bat tonight. Well, just just look at look at that celebration. It just tells you what what it means to Shine Chaffee, the, the this tournament, the fact that he's he's come here, he's playing. He, look, listen, he's he's an absolute superstar, a world class player. We know what he can do with the ball. We've seen that, you know, over the last few years. Uh, we expect him to pick up a wicket in the first over when he bowls, and that's been his track record. He's one of the best in T20 cricket in picking up a wicket in the first over that he bowls. Hasn't really set the tournament on fire with with the ball, but that. That innings there, not, not in that innings, this is that match, one shot, that one shot of that last ball where he's picked up three runs, will do his confidence with the ball when he comes out to mm. bowl a whole lot of good. There's no better feeling than a bowler winning the game with the bat. Uh, that is the yeah. key. There's no better feeling. From a bowler's point of view, if you actually can win the game with the bat, there's no better feeling walking off the park and being able to and, do that. And, and sorry, sorry, Laura, but this wasn't even like a single of the last no, ball. This was, was three. 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 Yeah, this exactly. was three of Credit the last Credit to Luke Wood as well, though. Yeah. Yes, the whitest teeth in cricket. I mean, he was <laughs> quick in between, in between up yeah. and down running the three. I, I'd love to know for you, though. OK, so as a bowler, what mm. would be better, more more exciting for you or get you going more? A wicket or a great six? Oh, I think a boundary or, or a winning shot off the last ball as a bowler, I think, is way better feeling. What about you? As a bowler? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with a wicket. 
A wicket? Oh. I'm coming up with a wicket. That's my job. My uh, job's to pick up wickets. I've done my job there, picking okay. up wickets. Okay, well, Shaheen Shah Freddy's doing everything on the field, but also off it. Listen to this motivational speech before the game yesterday. I think you guys are the champion. I never see players like this in any team. You guys are capable. This team can win this final. The great teams, champion teams, always support each other. In the field, in the dressing room, go and just like, you know, talk to each other and enjoy. Every tournament you see, some teams win first five games and then they lost. And some of them, they're starting with, they lost every game and then last five they win. And I'm sure that's just a starter. That doesn't matter if Amir bowled well, me bowled badly, Manas not in the form, Hells is in the form. That's team. We have to support each other. That was after the game, sorry, not beforehand. It probably meant, well, it would have been very interesting if he'd done it before the game. I wonder what would have happened. But, um, look, he, he is, he's a world-class performer. And I guess when they come out and they, they, they do something like that, like they get the three runs to get you the win, the big superstar in this tournament, and you're a young man in that dressing room, and you see how much it means to him, that's got to change the way you look at this type of cricket, right? Oh, without doubt. I mean, if that doesn't get you going, if that doesn't get you motivated to go out and, 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 and just be a match winner, you know, you, if you can see the world superstars and what it means to them when they win a game, if you're a youngster, if you're a local player, you're thinking, sitting in that dressing room, sat there, we're thinking, listen, Shaheen Shah Afridi is so pumped. He is, yeah. you know, like he's the, over the here. The determination. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the key as well. When you're seeing that sort of thing, as you say, from a, a guy who's played so much cricket around the world, for all of those players in that dressing room, and then for him to stand up afterwards, and I think and make that speech, yeah. it shows what it means to him for, for him to be here. The Pakistan players don't get to play other tournaments around the world for various reasons. They really only get to play the PSL here and maybe a little bit in Bangladesh. So I think they love being here, and yeah. I think that's a big thing for him as well. And it says so much about franchise cricket, I think, and yeah. how much it actually does mean to the individuals. I thought it was a very cool mm. thing to be able to see. Now, we've talked about him literally every game, and I'm starting to feel bad for the bloke, but David Warner, he's having a tough time of it uh, with the bat, although he seems to be thriving in the captain's role, Dooley. How important is it for him? Because he's not got many games left to make a mark at some point in this tournament. Yeah, maybe one. Look, he's making a mark with his attitude, with his presence. Uh, he'd just love to make a mark with the bat. And, and he needs an innings. He'd love to have an innings of substance to propel his team to a win before he has to leave. I feel he's got one in him. Yeah. He's got one in him, but will it be tomorrow night? He'll be hoping so, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Ro, who are you picking? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with Warner and the Capitals. You think we're going to see fireworks from Warner? I think so, because I think it's a must-win game. Well, not a must-win game, but it's one of those games where, like you said, they really need a win. Uh, we've not seen the best of David Warner up until now, and I think this could be that game where we see the best of David Warner. All right, well, when we come back tomorrow, we will find out the DP World ILT20. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We will see you tomorrow.